But those are kind of glowing. That's not by design, but that lets me know my bulb is working, I suppose. Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. Got another great video today. We're going to be installing a UV sterilizer. If any of you have watched my reef tank history video where I walk through several tanks I've owned, you'll see that the last tank that I owned really shook me. I got dinos and it lived with dinos. You know, that tank had dinos for 12 months until I just finally gave up and broke it down. And I tried everything but UV. And I know certain dino types don't benefit from UV, but so many people commented about UV. I've done some research. And I want to be a little bit proactive here. And the tank is cycled. I got a couple fish going. I felt it was time to get a UV sterilizer on this system just to help me out. So let's see how this goes. Now the UV I picked up is a Aqua 25 watt sterilizer. It's white. So some of you are thinking like, shoot man, why don't you go black? Well, I picked it up used. It's got six months of use on it. It saved me about half half price really to pick it up used. And so I did that. I picked up a, a, a CK pump. So I'm not going to do... So there's some best practices with, with UV and I'm not doing everything best practice. So I'm, I'm just going to have a secondary pump pull in water to the UV system and then have the UV drain into the return section. So yeah, I'm probably going to be sterilizing water repeatedly in some cases. So it's not perfect, but I think it should do the job. I've got a couple of clamps I picked up to help mount it to the side. Came with a bulb. Again, six months of use on that bulb. I've got an extra bulb I picked up just to have on hand. And here's the ballast. And yeah, that's it. Pretty simple. We'll see if we can get it mounted and hooked up. Now another thing I did is I inspected, I inspected everything. I mean this unit's clean. It was a trustworthy buyer, um, or I should say seller. But I looked at the sleeve where the UV bulb, UV bulb goes inside of, and sometimes these sleeves can get pretty corroded and have a bunch of precipitation on it from dosing two part and other things. And the sleeve was pretty good. A lot of people, you know, they they try to go out and buy one every year. But uh, one thing I found is if you just use one of these white erasers, you can get them pretty clean so they can last a little bit longer. So FYI, if you have a UV sterilizer and a glass sleeve like this, um, take a white eraser to it, see if it gets it clean for you and prolongs the life of your system a little bit longer without having to buy a new one. Now it's recommended that you run these UV sterilizers vertical if you can this way with the inlet of the the water flow starting at the bottom and then flowing up out of the top just to keep the pipe um, no air bubbles right you don't want any air bubbles in there and to keep that bulb fully submersed in, in surrounding water now you can do it horizontal like this um, with 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 the outlet and the inlet coming up out of the top you know it'd be great just to throw it in like this right but then you're gonna have uh, air at the top here and you could get some air bubbles and that UV bulb won't be fully submerged at all times it's unlikely um, doing it this way due to gravity so we're gonna we're gonna put it in like this and um, we're also gonna um, elevate one side um, the outlet side just to help with those bubbles that could get inside there um, but that's the goal to install it this way and we'll see how it goes Okay, so I got these brackets on the UV sterilizer and I used a piece of blue tape to make a little template of sorts. And I've got it where I want it, right here. Get the holes punched and it's a little bit tilted to give me the angle I need to deal with any air bubbles or trapped in this, the sterilizer. We're gonna drill a couple holes and get this sucker mounted. So there we have the UV sterilizer. I've got it mounted in the brackets at a slight angle uh, with the outlet going up a little bit. Let's get it plumbed to the pump and do a test run with it. Okay folks, 
we're done with the install. Well, I think. Lights are on now. Clowns are still doing good. Another fish is coming real soon. Um, I'm not going to lie. It's tight. It's pretty tight. So I got the pump here that feeds the reactor. Excuse me, not reactor. This uh, UV sterilizer. And then the outlet goes down to the return. Right by the return pump section. Let's see if I can get a shot. Right there. So this pump, it's a CHA 2.0. It's about 500 gallons per hour, so I wanted about 400, but we'll see how it goes. Um, but yeah, I'm not going to lie. It took me a while, actually, even though it seems like a simple thing to do. It's just really tight, so I need to, you know, skimmers are so great now. I have always had struggles with low nutrient systems, so I think a little undersized skimmer or something with a small footprint, I'm going to do some research. I think I can still fit one there. Um, whether the neck and the collection cup hits this sterilizer is another question, but we're going to try. If we can't fit it, then we'll move the sterilizer and do another plan. But for now, it's working at the moment. I've got the pump turned on and there's no leaks. I'm going to get a couple clamps up here. I've got the plastic clamps that I use that are attached to the pump. I've got some stainless steel ones I'll just cinch down up here and hopefully that will be fine and they won't rust. But that's how she's looking at the moment. Now I'm going to see, so normally you want to run just the pump or your return or whatever through this sterilizer probably for a day or so, make sure there's no leaks. And then once you're feeling confident you can turn on the bulb. But I'm going to plug in the bulb just to make sure we got a good connection and we have power to that bulb. So let me plug that in. And you should see a little glow come out right here. I don't know if the camera picked that up, but it is glowing now. And ironically, I've got these nylon elbows at Home Depot. I hope they keep up, actually. I just hand tightened them. I didn't crank them because they're nylon. <laughs> but those are kind of glowing. That's not by design, but... That lets me know my bulb is working, I suppose. Um, so tell me what you think about those elbows. Do I need to change those out for some Schedule 80 elbows or something? Or will nylon be okay for a little bit? Um, you know, I definitely don't want it to leak. Technically, if it does leak, it'll go down here into the sump, but you know, it, it may not get everything into the sump. It may get along that back wall and drip down behind the sump. So we don't want this to leak. Uh, but that's pretty cool. Bulbs working. Now ideally if you install UV sterilizer you want to be able to take the bulb out and replace it with ease and it's quite long right and I don't have any way to do that so I'm, I'm gonna have to just unscrew these two clamps, lift them up, pull the sterilizer out, angle it and then unscrew where the bulb is, um, pull the bulb out and change it and put it back in. So with this flexible hosing it's not too bad. But again, anytime you're working in an area where there's just a lot of wires and it's tight, it's just kind of annoying. But it is what it is. Um, we'll see how she does. It'll be fun cleaning this and changing the bulb every six months. <laughs> Hope it helps with dinos. Well, folks, guys and gals, that's it. That's another piece of equipment installed. I do have an earlier video where I listed all the equipment I got for this system and this build and priced it out. I'm going to have to update that video. You can go check it out, but I need to um, add this sterilizer. Skimmer's coming real soon. I need dosing, a dosing system for two-part. And I think that's about it for a while. We'll see how that works for me. That should get me to corals and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, skimmer research next, small footprint. I want to see if I can fit it in here with this setup. But again, guys and gals, thanks so much for checking out my videos, for supporting me and subscribing. It really helps me out. And we will see you in the next one. Happy reefing. Peace out.